Sargassum seaweed has returned to the shores of Tobago's beaches. However, the Division of Infrastructure Quarries and the Environment is ready to tackle the perennial problem. Earlier this week, coastal engineer in the division Richard Hines explained that this phenomenon continues to evolve. However, in 2018, a Sargassum Emergency Response Plan was developed and a three-level response was drafted. The division is monitoring particular beaches on the island. Terrells B, uh, Battle B, and then there's Little Rockley B. So that's in the vicinity of Magdalena, uh, Lambo area. And uh, what we have, what we'd have done, we'd have um, gotten approval or two approved sites, one in the east, one in the west. So in Delaford, there's an area that we, we utilize that we can bury the sargassum. And then in the west, there's Friendship, uh, Friendship Estate. There's a, a small area that we utilize to, to store the sargassum. The Hines noted that they expect an above average season of sargassum this time, but indicated that they have to be quite methodical in their approach to removing the seaweed. We try to avoid, we try to avoid uh, mechanically intervening unless absolutely possible, because what we have noticed as well is uh, mechanical interventions could have a negative impact on the quality of the beach. Uh, so what we, what we have been trying to do is utilize uh, manual intervention. And that means that we, we need rapid turnaround. So as soon as we know that, that Sargassum is coming to the beach, we try to get some teams uh, organized so that it could be removed um, manually. In 2011, this brown seaweed washed upon many Caribbean shores, including Tobago's, to the surprise of many. This traumatized many businesses whose hotels and restaurants lie on beachfronts as the Sargassum seaweed with a pungent smell washed ashore in large quantities. Since then, it has become an annual occurrence. 